previous videos, I've developed the FPGA cores for the Intellivision's processor and its graphics. In this video, we put everything together and develop the full Intellivision core. In the first stage, we're going to stick with our existing setup. Our top level is going to look something like this. We have our processor, of course, and we also have our other peripherals. The scratch pad RAM, the executive ROM, and the graphics system. And in this stage, we're going to embed a virtual cartridge within the FPGA. Speaking of the FPGA, the development board I'm using is from QM Tech, and it features an EP4C E15 FPGA. This is part of Altera's Cyclone 4 family, and it has 15,408 logic elements and 504 kilobits of embedded memory. For FPGA development, I'm using Altera's Cordis 2 software. The top level name of the design is Console Core, and we have all the sub blocks here the graphics engine, the processor core, scratch pad RAM, executive ROM, and our embedded cartridge. If we open our embedded cartridge file, you'll see that we refer to a, a file called gamerom.hex. This is where our game is going to be embedded. The game I decided to embed is a homebrew game called Alligator Swamp. It was written by Anders Carlson, and I chose this game because it is compact and doesn't have any fancy address mapping. Okay, so I guess it's time to configure the FPGA. Well, the first attempt isn't exactly successful, but it's encouraging to see um, some crazy graphics patterns, at least. When I looked at the embedded logic analyzer, I could see that we were stuck in a loop where the opcode 89 kept on reoccurring. Opcode 89 is move register one to register one. Luckily, we're able to fix this with a single line change. Now we're able to advance to the title screen. One thing that you'll notice is that not all the bands are being produced, those color bands on top. And that's because in this hardware, I'm not supporting all the colors. I'm only supporting seven of the 16 colors supported by Intellivision. I continued using the Signal Tap 2 logic analyzer to track down additional errors. I had to redefine the register seven behavior And this got me to the Alligator Swamp title screen. But you can still see the screen isn't quite right with the black bars and all that. But after fixing a small error with register 3, things finally start looking good. To advance beyond the title screen, we need to press a button. This is the code that waits for joystick entry. Control pad 1 is accessed at address 510. Control pad 2 is accessed at address 511. The AND function serves as a mask, looking for activity in bits 7, 6, and 5. We're going to use the FPGA board buttons to emulate our controller. Let's take a quick look at the VHDL code that I threw together. For port B, when the button is pressed, bits 6 and 7 are asserted. This should get us out of the load screen. And port A is set up to move the character left. All right, let's see if we can get past our title screen. I'm going to push the button. Hmm. So we do start seeing the game, 
but it looks like the guy won't fall. But I am able to move him uh, to the left until it hits the edge of the screen. Not working perfectly, but uh, still pretty cool. I went through the alligator swamp code and I found the section that controls the gravity. The problem is with this line right here, branch of carry is set. But unfortunately, carry was never set. But this problem was easy to fix. It was a simple edit in the ALU VHDL code. In fact, we just had to change this bit here from zero to one. And this ensures that carry is set prior to each subtraction. Okay, I'm about to check the mod to see if uh, gravity works. But I've just noticed that I think I snapped my red wire. So all the red is gone from the screen. Anyway, um, here it goes. Whoa. So as you can see, the monkey does fall. And when he does, he's eaten by an alligator. Let's look at that again. Cool. So I guess we're off to a good start. Now in this video, we are using um, an embedded game. But in the next video, I wanna do a printed circuit board and be able to actually play games off of cartridge. Anyway, that's the goal.